Hey everybody at OCB, we are doing a word search. We are saying hello around the world. I'm currently working on a couple. The first set right over here, we've got Anyang uh, Hasio. I don't even know if I said it right. That is Korean. Aloha is in Hawaiian. Bon dia is Portuguese. Bon giorno is Italian. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody else is Italian. Bon jour. I know that for sure. That's French. And ciao. That's Vietnamese. And then we got Dia Diu, which is Irish. But I managed to find a couple of right now. Uh, on the second row, I found Bongiorno, which is in Italian, and Bongjo, directly below it, right there. And then I found Chao, which is in Vietnamese. So there's a couple for you. All right. And I also found Dia Diu, which is in Irish. I don't even know if I said it right, but there it is. The very top. So I managed to mark that off. Now I'm going to be looking for Bom Dia, which is Portuguese. All right, I found the Portuguese way of saying hello. It is right over here. And a quick little reminder, again, I color-coded these. So you can go from the first row over here that you see. I think I'm going to do this one in green for the second set and this one in red for the third set. That way you guys can go back and look around in case you need to solve this. All right, I found Aloha. It is right over here. It's kind of funny, because if you guys look closely, you can also find Ola. But I did find Ola somewhere else, but eh. A nice little detail. Don't tell anybody. I found Ong Young Haseo. Feel free to write in the comment section if I mispronounce it so that way I can say it right after I read it on the YouTube comments. It's right over here. Ong Young Haseo. It's the whole bottom section. Can you believe it? All of this was just dead to designated right over here perfect all right and for the second set of words you can either go the cheap way of saying hola is also aloha or you could find it on your own i managed to find it somewhere around here i believe it is right here hola there are two olas i also found konnichiwa there we are. Konichi. Wa. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to mark it off. I also did find Jumbo. It is really close to Aloha. So here we are. We got J A M B O. Jumbo. And Jumbo is in Swahili, that is a part of Africa. I also found the Dutch word, golden dog. Like I said, if I mispronounce it and you guys know how to say it, feel free to write it down in the comments section. I do not want to butcher these hellos. But there we are. I'm gonna mark that off and I'm gonna look for guten tag now. And guess what, I found guten tag. It is directly next to golden dog and jambo. Diagonally, Guten Tag, right over here, and there we go, Golden. I'm gonna mark that off. I also did find Hej in Swedish, it is right over here, diagonally as well. Perfect. Now a little hint, I noticed a bit of a trend right over here. When it came to all of the green ones, they were all diagonal going from the bottom up over there from left to right. And I'm gonna prove this right now. Mar ha ba, which is in Arabic or Arabic. There we go, beautiful. And there are all the green ones right over there. All right, I found namaste, which is in Hindi. Here it is 
from bottom to top. I already crossed it off ahead of time. Now I'm gonna look for Ni Hao in Chinese. I also found Ni Hao just now. There we are, Ni Hao. I'm gonna mark that off. And there's apparently two waves of saying hello in Arabic. Marhaba and salam. And I found salam, the second way of saying hello. There you are. Now we've got the Hebrew way of saying hello. Shalom. We've got Ziao. Actually, let me say that again. Zia, which is in Hungarian. Now we're looking for Yauso, which is in Greek. And I found it. I found the Greek way of saying hello. Yao Su. There we are. Golden. Stratsvuchia. That's how you say it in Russian. I had to look that up because that was probably the most interesting one. And there's also the last one, so I'm going to look around. And I found the Russian way of saying hello. Stratsvuchia. It's going to be very long. There I go. All in red. Now remember again, as a final note, I separated these in different colors. That way you know how to do it. I had it in black, green, and red. That way you can make this a lot easier for you guys to notice. If you need to pause this part of the segment to make it easier for you to find everything on this word search, feel free. I will leave it right there. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this tutorial. All right, guys. And now we are on with my, my culture and traditions. It says use this worksheet to tell more about your culture and traditions. Now, for me, my language is English because I was born in America. But I also do speak Spanish with some of the family members that I have. And I also speak French with a couple of my friends. So, yeah. I am trilingual, so. And for my favorite traditions, I'd say it would be eating flautas with my mom. It's a homemade recipe that she has. Um, she's got flautas that either are doused in some juice that's really good. It's beef and a little bit of chicken inside it as well. Got a little bit of radishes and cabbage, and it's amazing. As for my favorite food to eat, I have two preferences. I love Japanese food, sushi to ramen to sukiyaki, shabu shabu, and I love Italian food. I tend to cook chicken, pork, whatever, anything on pasta. It's amazing. All right. For other interesting facts, I decided to connect this with the clothes worn in my culture. I am nine different ethnicities. I am Spanish, Mexican, Middle Eastern, African, even European. So on top of that, I'm also Italian, Ashkenazi Jew. That's a couple to name. But I'd like to represent it in some of the hats that are worn all across the world. America tends to use a nice little cap. We got a nice little Legend of Zelda. So there you go. We also do have a nice little hat that is worn all over Europe. I forget what it's called, but it's really cool. You could probably see this in Sherlock Holmes movies and stuff. Cool. And this one is one of the most interesting because this tends to be mistaken as a sombrero, but it's actually a hat from Spain. A sombrero tends to have a lot of straw around it, and it's a lot bigger, so... Just a little fun fact for you guys to figure out. And when it comes to my last name, it is from Spain. It's actually a city in Spain called Sahagun. So that was my emphasis, and that is why I decided to wear this hat. And for holidays celebrated in my culture, we actually do not celebrate Cinco de Mayo as 
Lizeth pointed out, it is actually the independence that we had from the French that Cinco de Mayo is about. We do celebrate Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. We tend to celebrate uh, the memories of loved ones that have passed away. Also, we do celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th in Mexico. So, so just a quick little recap. We got languages that are spoken in my family. We've got English, Spanish, and French. And then we got my favorite tradition, which is eating flautas with my mom with her homemade recipe. She still won't tell me what it is. My favorite food to eat other than flautas are Japanese food and Italian food. Clothes worn. We got a bunch of hats here that I just demonstrated. And our holidays celebrated are Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. We've got Christmas that's celebrated on Christmas Eve in Mexico. And interesting facts about me, I have nine diff different ethnicities.